All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Live. Many times children and teens don't notice what's going on around them or take time to show respect and interest in others, especially adults. That's why it's more important than ever to teach children and teens to make a positive first impression. Here with us this morning to teach your children good manners is Christine Chen from the Manners Lab and seven-year-olds Grace and Kylie. Welcome to the show. I just had my nephews and niece in town for six days and I was screaming at them constantly. Say thank you. That woman held the door for you. You know, acknowledge these people. It's like, do you not see that they did this for you? So that happens a lot. How do you get through to them? You're a good uncle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's practice and it has to be practiced at home and you can do that through role playing and kind of what you were doing with your niece is to constantly remind the children to do these things especially in this technological age right. where they're not even making eye contact or smiling just to be aware of those things and as they grow it'll become a habit so do you go back and do you have them go through it and say hey i need you to walk back here and thank this woman for holding the door for you, or do you tell them yeah. separately at a different time? How do you yeah. do it? Well, I think that's on an individual basis, and at times, if it maybe if it's a family member or a friend, because you don't want to embarrass your child either. Right. And so, if it's someone that you know very well, I would do that and explain that you're trying to teach these habits to your child. All right. So it's Good Manners Month. What are the three yeah. tips that you have? for parents to teach their children good manners. Okay, yeah, this is a great month. It's National Children's Good Manners Month with school kicking off and in order to enhance and make the, these habits stick, some of the tips that I have are the first impression and that's when kids are greeting their friends, their family members, even people they don't know. Maybe a parent's coworker mm -hmm. sets a good example. So and the three things they need to remember when they're doing that is eye contact, a smile and to say the other person's name and oh. then they can go a step farther and shake hands and even very important for them to stand up because Kylie and Grace both know why you should stand up why should you stand up because it shows what respect, respect. so we just had the six S's on the screen there a minute ago that's what you call it, the six S's, the six S's. to an introduction right right the six S's would be to See, smile, stand, state your greeting, good morning, good afternoon, say their name, and then shake, a good handshake. So kids, a lot of adults don't know how to give a good handshake. So if you're teaching your children a web-to-web -web handshake, okay. and Kylie and Grace have been practicing that, we teach this in schools, sometimes with the little kids, we'll put a little sticker on their hand so they know their handshaking hand, and uh, we'll put a little sticker between their eyes, parents can do this at home, to encourage eye contact. Okay, so let's practice here, okay? So, hi, I'm Kid. Hi, Kid. My name's Kylie. How are you? Oh, great. Nice to meet you. Now, you can't stand because you're sitting at the news desk right now, but <laughs> it's very nice to meet you, Kylie. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kid. Hi, Kid. My name is Grace. Hi, Grace. Well, thanks for coming on Let's Talk Live today. Why do you say first impressions are so important when it comes for, for children? Well, I think so many times adults are so used to children ignoring them and I think that's even more in today's society because they're busy with their friends or their Game Boys or whatever they're playing with and so I think it's important for children to respect and honor especially those that are older adults that are in their lives and uh, it makes a powerful impression and I, as an adult when we have a child do maybe what Kylie and Grace just did doesn't it make a powerful impression yeah. like wow these kids have respect right so tell us more the, the difference between like a greeting of someone you you do know versus someone you don't know okay so someone you don't know and even adults we get a little intimidated by that right. we might try to ignore or hey who's that person but it's so easy and uh, you just walk up to the person extend your hand and say hi oh. my name's Christine and most likely they'll give you their name and uh, Kylie and Grace have practiced this and they know how to do that at their school they'll walk up to a new student and say hi my name's Grace right and and it makes everybody feel comfortable immediately right. so and have you guys met new friends because of that at school yeah, you, yeah that's a nice yeah. way to meet new people yeah. where can people find out more about uh, the manners lab well they can go to my website and or they could give me a call all the information is on the site and uh, we'd be happy to talk to them and what is your website www.themannerslab.com. Awesome, it's on your screen as well right now. Thanks, guys, for coming in today. Great to meet you. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ah, <laughs> I was See? testing Hello. you there, there. Good job. All right. We're going to have more of Let's Talk Live right after the break, so don't go anywhere.